Can you create a modern finish with an old school hone? You bet you can, and we're gonna show you every step of the process. We're gonna begin with these 170 grit diamonds, and then we're gonna go with a 600 grit CBN after that. And then to clean it all up, we have a special deburring abrasive that we're gonna use to go clean it all back up. We're gonna show you every step of the process, so stay tuned. measuring. So we've established our base finish using those 170 grit diamonds. We've checked the roughness with our profilometer. We know we have a RZ over 500. We have plenty of roughness. Now we're going to put in the 600 CBNs and begin to mow the grass. Bring down those peaks while leaving that valley. That's coming up next. Yep. So we used the 170 to establish the base. Now we've come back with six strokes of the 600 CBN. Profilometer told us that's knocking those mountains down, but leaving some valley. So now for the final operation, we're gonna put in our deburring, a cleaning abrasives. It should bring those peaks down a little bit and leave us with a nice smooth top while maintaining that valley to hold the oil. And we've done all of this within one thousandths of size. So we actually took that 170 abrasive all the way to within just a few tenths of final size. That 600 only took out a couple of tenths this should basically not even touch the Dalbor gauge. So let's go ahead and get started. And just like that, we have a plateau finish, a modern finish following that process with those abrasives using this old Sun and CV 616. So who says you can't use an old machine to make a modern finish? We just did.